Today, we're going to talk about fluorocarbon. Why you should be using fluorocarbon in your fishing. There's, I'll go down a list. Um, I have a couple of samples up here, and I'm going to explain to you first uh, some of the positive things or why you should definitely be using fluorocarbon. And then I'll give you some of the negative things about fluorocarbon, which are very minimal. Um, in the old days, everybody used a monofilament leader, and that was, you know, it worked, and we still caught fish. But now, fluorocarbon, with the high technology that's come up, has given us a, a clear advantage of why we should use it. The first thing about fluorocarbon is it's less visible in the water than monofilament. Um, the fluorocarbon has a refractive index of 1.42. Water is refractive index is 1.30. Monofilament is much higher at 1.52. So therefore, that's going to create uh, a lower visibility leader in the water. It's how light passes through um, the leader material. So low visibility is probably the best reason why you should use fluorocarbon leader. If the fish can't see it, then it's less intrusive in their world if they just see the bait swimming around or even just a little piece of a hook instead of seeing a long leader which before they would they would they can actually see the leader fluorocarbon is more abrasion resistant than monofilament uh, it's made it's non-porous with a harder finish so if you're fishing around any kind of structure or even if the fish has um, a rough uh, sandpaper mouth whether that be a snook or even teeth it's going to be a lot harder to uh, penetrate and cut through the fluorocarbon leader than it is for monofilament. It's a harder and a denser material. There is no stretch to the uh, fluorocarbon leader. Therefore, every time a fish takes uh, the bait or your lure, you will feel it. It'll, uh, it'll come up to your rod faster. There will be no stretch in it. So instantaneous hook sets, so you'll feel that bite. And with the braided line, it's outstanding to, to know that uh, there's no stretch in the braided line and uh, almost no stretch in the fluorocarbon leader. Fluorocarbon is a, sol it's a solid material, and it's denser than water. And it does sink, but here's the key. It does not absorb any water. So without absorbing the water, it retains its strength whether it's wet on the surface or dry. Now with monofilament, monofilament will absorb the water. Monofilament can be damaged by the sun, the salt water, or chemicals. Uh, monofilament is very visible. Um, monofilament has some stretch, which in some cases you might need the stretch, but we'll cover that down, the, down, down later on in this uh, webinar. So if you're looking at your fluorocarbon, now you're looking at it doesn't absorb water. Monofilament does. When a, when the matter or the line absorbs the water, it actually weakens that line. And you don't get that with fluorocarbon. So you're not going to get the damage from salt water and chemicals. Um, in cases where you would want some stretch in your line, you might use a monofilament leader. If you were fishing for pelagics, wahoo, or you're fishing for um, kingfish, or even mackerel, and you wanted some stretch, then you might use monofilament. But if, again, if you were fishing with it and you weren't getting bites, I would switch back to the fluorocarbon because you can always compensate for that no stretch with the, t the rod that you're using with a softer tip or even a lighter drag. So you can compensate for the no stretch in the fluorocarbon because that with the rod and the drag, that should alleviate any problems that you're having with stretch because you want a little bit of a give in your line. Um, monofilament, uh, which we had used years ago, you can tie to your, your braided line or to your swivel with any kind of knot. It's the same with the fluorocarbon. You can tie the same knots. Fluorocarbon, because it is denser and a more solid material, it's not as pliable, so you're going to have to make sure you cinch down those knots tighter. But it's getting better as the uh, uh, higher technology comes out. Um, they can make it softer. If you noticed a few years back, they actually came out with fluorocarbon line that you can use on your reel. Now, you'll know there's a difference when you take the fluorocarbon line out and tie a knot to it, and you take the fluorocarbon leader and tie a, a, a knot with that. 
the fluorocarbon line is, has a lot less memory than the leader does. So that's why the knot tying would be a lot easier with the line. So, and as they advance, I'm sure you'll see uh, higher fluorocarbon line being made. I think the highest I've seen now is 25 pound test. Um, and I think the biggest reason is because of the memory. They haven't quite got down the uh, technology to make, get the memory out of it.